Please read the disclaimer. Hello and welcome. I'm Bio and today we're playing another PlayStation 2 Random. A game I've never actually heard of before. But I do remember, I think, adding it to my randoms list. And that is Azure and Asma. A late era PlayStation 2 game released exclusively in Europe. It says it's a 3D platformer developed by Wizardbox and published by Eme. I think it's a game that probably got released exclusively in France, I think. But that doesn't obviously mean it doesn't have English. Yeah, oh my word. It's based on a film by Mikel Ocelot. Fucking Ocelot here, boys. <laughs> and it's from the same creator as Kiriko, another game that we covered as part of the PlayStation 1 randoms. So this is going to be interesting. Hopefully there's no nudity in this one. We can only hope. <laughs> oh my word, look at those models. All right, all right, let's just, let's just, let's just go in. I don't know what, what kind of game we're going to be walking into here. Told you this legend. You have dreamt of the Jinn's fairy for so long. You have always wanted to go off and free her. As you and Asma must say, be careful. You have listened to me so carefully. Have you not understood the dangers of this legend? I have told you about the fierce brigands, the Scarlet Lion, the Rainbow Feathered Bird. I have told you about the countless traps and dark caves, but you are determined. Sorry, I guess just realized. Nothing can stop you. There we go. Asir and Asmar, I fear for you. Okay. Well, you aren't frightened. I like the artistic style that they're going with on on this particular scene, but this looks like it's ripped directly out of the animated film. That's what I think. I think this is based off an animated film. Oh, that don't look too bad. Let's see that, that that graphics don't look too bad. Find the Scarlet Lion's Den. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the character models, if I'm honest, look at the character models. The character model don't look too bad. Environment, the environment is quite basic. So like, look at that PNG palm tree back there. That's a uh, that's interesting. Got PMG palm, PM PNG palm tree. So yeah, so this is based off a, a film of the same name that was released, I guess, an animated film in France. Oh, that lingers on that tutorial thing lingers on the screen for a minute. So you, anyway, yeah. Collect the pieces on each level, yes. Thank you. Alright. I'll try to do that. So we've got no music, just kind of ambience. Now, like, it, it, graphics-wise, it's not great, considering this is a pl this is a PlayStation 2 game that was released in 2007, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say they're an, like an indie developer. So, let's have a look to see what other games they made, Wizard Box. So this was the very first game they made, Wizard Box. So that's fair enough, you can, you can give them a little bit of a pass on that. They made a few other games, mainly for Europe. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh dear. Um, City Life DS, So Blonde for PC. Imagine Family Doctor for the DS. So Blonde, Back to the Island, Around the World, Grey Matter. Captain Morgan and the Golden Tur Turtle, Realms of Ancient War. Why oh, yeah, even are these games? I'm like I'm looking at these and like I've never even heard of these things. So they were released exclusive. Oh, okay, they released digitally. Oh, they don't look they don't look great, but it's hard to tell really. <laughs> Captain Morgan and the Golden Turtle, the point and click. Okay. So yeah, so they've done a few games here and there. But this is their first project, so you can give them a little bit of a free pass on it. Let me go. Just jumped across that cliff. It says something about sprinting, but... Dude's sprinting already. He doesn't even have a, like, a normal walk cycle. As soon as he's just, like, tiny bit on the analog, boom. 
run. A run. To jump farther, press the X button. Jump while sprinting. Oh, well, in all fairness, it does have a like a, a ledge grab mechanic. Yeah, so, hold an R1 and he does a slightly faster run. He's already running. So, he makes me laugh. He looks like he's sprinting already. Oh. He did it already. Nice try, game. I saw it coming a mile off. Hearts increase your life gouge permanently. Oh, okay. I now have four hit points, I guess. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I like how I can fall off the edge slightly and still press X and he jumps. <laughs> Automatic checkpoint. Cool. Just realize. I feel like we're coming up here. Oh, I thought I was an enemy we're coming across. Oh no. What will we do? Just jump over it, I guess. Oh, very nicely placed arrow you have there. I have... Pressed the down directional button to advance crawl. Little crab walk under there, no problem. That's what we can do. I don't know, it's just kind of a... Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of a basic three like three D platformer really. Or well, just say two point five D. Oh my god, it has giant spiders. Why is there giant spiders? Quite a good question. Guess I'm not gonna get an answer, just understand giant spiders. They don't really put up much of a fight. They're more like run than anything. Yeah, they just kind of run. The hitbox is a little bit strange on this the spiders, but it's quite horrible looking spiders, if I'm honest. Pretty good. I think they've actually done a good job of the spiders because they actually look pretty creepy. They just look like normal spiders. Give them credit where credit is due. Oh, just simply existing within the realm of the spikes causes a uh, yeah. I didn't mean to run into him there, but whatever. Guess we can fall down here. Yep. Don't fall down there. Doing a lot of a uh, kind of moving. A spider up there. Another one. Two hits and they're dead. It's not too bad. Um, I haven't really got much to say about this game, if honest. It's just kind of okay, really. There's nothing special about it. Let's be honest. Let's put. Let's put, be completely honest about it. It's not anything special. There really is not anything special about it. It's pretty bare bones when you refer to it. Oh, we have a snake here. Killed the snake. I don't know if there's a point going up here. There's a ledge here. Oh. I said there was a ledge there, so... We can't quite go up there, though. Guess we crawl underneath. I think there's a spider up here, wasn't there? Maybe not. I just, I really don't have an opinion on this game. It's just so kind of bland. There's nothing special about it. Uh, like I said, the the character model's nice and vibrant. He looks quite nice. In all fairness, it's too bad the rest of the game doesn't have this artistic style. Instead, the rest of the game just looks quite bland. Kind of gives me a kind of feel like the original Prince of Persia did. Not the PS2 game, but like the one back on the old DOS. But obviously nowhere near as much danger and just a kind of style. 
makes me think of that in a way. It's just, I don't know, it's just bland, isn't it? It's just kind of bland. There isn't really anything going for it. What makes me laugh is his ma is his magic ability to jump so fucking high. It's like, yep, no, that's a uh, look at this. Oh, look at me jump! They call me the Jump King. Like, boom, straight there, no worries. Is that a hint of music there? I I heard. I don't think so. Here we go. Just basically climbing a big hill. That's what we're doing. It's like we're going up this cliffside. Cliffside adventure right here, boys. It's just... It's just so bland. It really is so, so bland of a game. I really do not have much to say about it. Oh, we have a chest. What's in the chest, boys? Chest don't just can only be open with a key. Do I need a key for this one? Uh, I guess not. Oh, a health potion, which I really did need. Thank you. Right. I guess as long as we're moving up, that's all that matters. Here we go. Another ladder. Let's move up here. There's a spider. Oh no, the spider's like, Hey, what are you doing here? This is my home. So yeah, you can attack. There's attack moves. <laughs> I really have nothing to say about this game. It's just so... Like, again, I really don't have much to say about it. It's just kind of there. Enemies aren't particularly hard to take down. Oh. Oh, hell. Fucking died, really? <coughs> really? Okay then. I actually died there simply because uh, I didn't quite. Well, it was, it, a new mechanic just got introduced into the game, which uh, I didn't even know. Oh, the rocks still remain fallen though. There's only those three as well. Oh, I guess there's no, not really any live system. Because it didn't say I lost a life or anything. I'd be worried climbing this cliff, if I'm honest. You've got these giant spiders everywhere. Snakes are not an issue. You know, you kind of expect snakes. You're in the desert, but you don't expect giant spiders. That's, the, that's, that's what I like to think, anyway. It's not something you come along and go, Yeah, yeah, I, I expected those giant spiders in the desert, you know. It's kind of understand it. You know, there's camel spiders. Camel spiders, by the way. Horrible fucking things. Seen pictures of them. Fucking massive. Massive. But they don't look... They look nothing like the spiders in this, so... Spiders in this just kind of look like normal spiders, really. There's, there's a spider behind me, but why, why would I go that direction? It's clearly not the direction I'm supposed to go. Come on, as uh, Who am I... Ow! Didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't actually see that. Too bit too busy distracted. That's the only thing that can actually liable to kill you because you're not paying attention because you're kind of switched off while playing this game. Because <laughs> not much is happening. Nothing. Nothing on this is stimulating you to you're like. Oh yes. Oh, my, my 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 enzymes are going crazy. <laughs> the endorphins. The endorphins are going crazy. Oh, there's a key here. We now have a key. What for? Who knows. I'm actually kind of surprised how long this singular level is taking to put, go through. Like, honestly. Like, seriously. This is fucking taking a long time to get through this one level, aren't we? Every now and then I hear a hint of music, but it lasts for all of a, about a second and then disappears. There's another spider. Goodbye, Mr. Speeder. Goodbye. Do not come back. 
do not wish for you to come back from me. I'm not really aiming to collect all of the coins, because I just find it a bit pointless. Here we go. Hey! Are we actually getting... Oh, are we actually getting out of here now? Kind of. Look at where we are. Why would I go that way? Looks like we're near the top of the mount top of the mountain now. Now. Nice try, snack. Nice try, snack. Try no nice try, snack. Well, it kind of looks like it. I'm gonna be honest. When we finish this level, I'm gonna be kind of done with the game. Kind of done with the game. Oh. Don't run too do, don't run too quickly. You might die. Goodbye, Mr. Spider. Oh, what the hell is this? We're now moving into grey rocks, ba ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the grey part of the level. Don't tell me they're still ongoing. Come on. You've got to be done with this level at some point. It just goes... It, but you see where I'm coming from. It just goes on. Just on and on and on. There's not really much going on exactly, is there? Just feels for forever. Let's go this way. Are we getting there? Are we near the end of the level? Is this the end of the level? I think we did it, boys. We're at the end of the level. Well done. So there we go. We got to the end of the level. Holy moly. And another cutscene plays. Sweet is enough. But only the princess has sung. Show her your bravery and determination, and she will give one to you. Okay. Random. Complete the challenge to gain the language of the big cats. Yeah, I really don't care. So yes, so this game is very bland. I've said this I've said this numerous times while playing this, but that is the underlining statement that I'm going to stick with. It's a very bland 2.5D platformer. I don't know, that's what it is, really. It's not really a 3D, 3D platformer. Um, very basic mechanics. Very basic levels. Yeah, just kind of there, really. But can't really fault them. It was their first game. Um, yeah, it's just... Yeah, kind of there. Just kind of there. That's basically the summary of playing this game. It's just... Oh, it kind of just exists. It's there. It's not a good game, but it's not a bad game. It's just kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That was Azur and Asma. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.